So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through an all-in-one scraper that will work for every platform and every niche. And the best part is it's actually free to get started with. If you're new to the channel, my name's Charlie and I'm giving away the best automations for free on this channel. So yeah, sit back and enjoy. And if you're tired of scraping leads manually or just overpaying for expensive softwares, then I've got you in this video. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So boys and girls, you're in for a treat today. This is going to be a wild automation that can scrape any platform, including Google Maps. It can scrape Facebook groups, Instagram profiles, TikTok, YouTube, you name it. This automation can scrape it. And I haven't seen a single person on YouTube make a video this easy to the point where you only need two tools to actually make this work. And I'm going to explain it in less than 10 minutes. So just to show you how insane this is, because actions speak louder than words. All you have to do is literally come down here and just put the platform that you want to scrape. So if we want to scrape Google Maps and we don't want to have to go onto Google, you know, put all that information into a, into a Google Sheets, basically type Google, click save, run this automation. It's going to go to the correct scraper, which you can see at the top. And if we get the Google Sheets open like this, it's going to automatically put the results that it's literally scraping in the cloud on whatever niche we want. And it's going to put it into this Google Sheets in a nice table column, including the company name, the website, the phone number, we can get way more information than this. It is truly mind-blowing and I promise you I'm going to make this so ridiculously easy. Let's jump straight into the tutorial. So there are only two tools that you actually need to make this work. The first one is going to be make.com. Now make.com is what we are going to build the automation on and the second tool that you need is Appify. Now both of these tools are actually free to get an account with and I'm going to show you how you can get free leads using this to start. Obviously if you get thousands you'll need to pay for it of course but this is like a really good hack. So yeah both of these tools make.com and Appify. So make.com all you need to do is quickly log in to your account. Once you log in you're going to obviously yeah you create a free account click create a new scenario at the top right once you click create a new scenario at the top right we need to start building the automation but good news is that it's ridiculously easy um so the first thing we're going to add is actually a set variable so if you don't know what a set variable is and you can just watch this video while setting it up it's super simple um, but a set variable is what we want the automation to do as a trigger so for example if we look at this one we have the set variable as the search term. So we can put search term and then we can leave it as that. So search term right here. And yeah, let's leave that blank for now. So congratulations, you've literally done one of like three or four things and it's really that easy. So keep watching. So once you've done a set variable, we need to create a router. So a router is going to be how the automation is gonna differentiate what like platform to scrape, what niche to scrape and everything like that. So if we go here, click on add, and we just search for router, you can find it right here. So obviously we're gonna add a lot more than two different, um, yeah, routers in terms of the like way it goes in the direction, but let's just start with this. Um, and then obviously we want, if you go here, to add another set variable. So let's do that. And you can see that this set variable is going to be what niche you want to scrape and the location. So let's click on here and let's do tools and let's do another set variable, which is that right there. And for this case, we're just gonna do niche and click save. And quite literally, you just wanna clone this, like probably, I don't know, quite a few times. So let's clone this all of the times. And this is just so the um, automation knows which direction to scrape in terms of the platform. So yeah, you can clone this as many times as you want and you're good to go like that. So obviously make it a bit more neat if you can. Um, for people like you've got OTD like me, I have to have it in like a in an order for some weird reason, but um, that's probably just me. So once you've done that, we now need to set up Appify. So if you aren't familiar with Appify, it is a full stack platform for web scraping. So instead of us trying to manually scrape leads or you know paying for like Apollo, which is really expensive, what you can do is log into Appify. So you would click go to console, create a free account. And once you're inside, you're going to see all of these scrapers. So coders, people that can code, have literally, and developers, have put their like scrapers on this website that you can use and integrate into um, third-party softwares like make.com, N8N, tools like that. So it's insane because as you can see, we've got website content crawlers, we've got Google Maps, uh, email extractors, we've got Instagram scrapers, TikTok, Facebook, you name it. There is a scraper for everything like Twitter, 
obviously even Apollo, like if you want to get um, 50,000 leads per search, it's an insane tool to actually learn. Um, but in this case, we're going to start with just Google Maps. So you can see that we've got this one right here, which is by Lucas um, Kribka. So obviously if you search for Google Maps and that's what you want Appify to search for you, you can see there's a bunch of options. I just recommend using this one to start with. Um, and you can see there is nine dollars per thousand results however you can actually get a few hundred i believe for free which is like pretty sick because that would take you at least you know an hour or two um so yeah i'm saving you money and i'm saving you time so um how this works is you basically want to go back into our automation that we've built right here really simply and we're going to click add and keep watching because you're literally almost done once you do this you're going to search for Appify um, and the thing that we're going to click on is going to be run a task. Now run a task basically means that it's a fancy way of just saying like it's going to run an automation. Like that is the, the, the easy way of saying it. Um, so in this case you just need to connect your um, Appify API. So if you go into Appify it looks really confusing don't worry about that the UI isn't the easiest to understand I appreciate that um, but nonetheless if you just go down to I believe setting API and integrations which you can see right here and you do have an API key which you can very easily just copy and then you can just paste it in right here and you're good to go so once you do that so once you've connected your API key into make.com from Appify, you'll be able to see all the scrapers right here that you have successfully um, like clicked on, if that makes sense. So for example, if you click on this um, and you, I believe you can even do a search like inside Appify. So if you want to make it by far like easier, if you've never built an automation before and you just wanna get some leads, you can very easily just like come in here, type what niche you want to scrape. So let's say personal trainers, type the location that you want to run and then how many places you want to extract. And if you do that, so if we click start, you're gonna see that it's gonna run the actor or run the scraper internally inside Appify. We're just making it a lot cleaner to the point where we can very easily just put like a search term in here and it's gonna go down the one that we want and scrape it without us having to go into Appify. But hopefully that makes sense. You can do it inside Appify, as you can see right here, and it's gonna be able to scrape like the, um, yeah, for gyms or personal trainers, and it will get 50, so it will give us the gym, how many yeah, reviews they have, so 193. Um, it will give us the phone number, it will give us the website, the city, um, and all of this information, um, and obviously a lot more actually. So uh, yeah, that's essentially how it works, and it does take a bit of time, but that is how it works internally. You can see this got four, it will go up to five, six, and so forth. Um, so just, yeah, you can do a quick run in there, um, but then you should be able to see the option to actually have it inside make.com um so once you do that you can very easily just um click on the one that yeah if we search for google maps you can see that it is this one so google maps email extractor by luca um and you want to have that as run that just means it's going to run in order um and then for the input json this is not confusing please so let's stop this because it's actually uh getting <laughs> leads as, as we talk um but just to make this really easy, I don't want you to get confused about like JSON files. You essentially just need to go back here and click on JSON for the scraper that you want. And you very easily just need to copy this and then paste it in here. So once you paste it in there, you're going to see that it will look a bit confusing. But how this works is make.com now knows that you're using this actor with this JSON and that's what it's going to do. So keep watching because it's not confusing. Um, but if you're wondering how does this automation actually know like where to go and where to scrape in terms of the platform without us having to like change anything inside the automation and that's through the set variables that we actually set up beforehand so if we remove this so you can see here that we can remove this with the niche that we want so that was personal trainers but now you can see that obviously um yeah it says london right here so if you want to change the like location you can do that but just to make this really simple for you now if we want to search for like let's say roofers it's going to use this set variable and instead of doing personal trainers it's going to do whatever you type right here so this is the set variable that you can name as like the niche so let me put niche and boom and then this set variable is going to be the platform so you could call this platform just to make it really simple for you guys. So now um, we do need to set up filters in a second. So we'll do that in a second. But um, 
yeah, let's keep this moving. So this is perfect because now you've got the platform. So you could type whatever platform you want in here and we'll set up a filter. So it'll go to the correct one. You've managed to set up the niche and yeah, connect Appify through API and just the JSON file, which hopefully makes sense. Um, so now we just want to get that data back. So click on Appify. You don't need to understand any of this. Just follow me essentially. Get data set items. So it's just going to fetch the information that it scraped from Google Maps and you can essentially just, yeah, input the uh, things right here. So, for example, the data set ID, um, you should be able to see that right here. So default data set ID, um, you can keep this exactly as it is. Click save. Boom, you're good to go. Now, all you need to do is just select Google Sheets. And this is going to be the place in which it's going to put all the information into. So that's obviously how it like managed to put it into my Google Sheets really easily. So, for example, if we just do... Um, yeah, add a row. You want to obviously connect your Google Sheets by signing in right here. Super simple. It should take you like two minutes. Um, and then you're pretty much good to go. You just need to select the uh, spreadsheet ID. So in this case, um, let me just select the correct one. Um, and once you do that, you can see that I have all my folders right here. So if I do the Google Maps results, you can obviously create Google Sheets. Sometimes you need to give it a second to like reset or go off make and then come back on, but you'll be able to see it like this. Uh, sheet name is just like which sheet you want inside the Google Sheets. You don't need to know what that means, just copy me. Um, and then here you can see that from earlier we have the actual like results, but you don't need that. This could be a blank Google Sheets. Um, and all we need to do is just map the actual results. So what we're going to do is actually unlink this. So if we unlink this and we, um, run this automation right now okay perfect so we ran the automation and as you can see it did fail on the google sheets but that's simply because we didn't map the results uh into the google sheets so if we click on this what you'll find is obviously make sure that you have connected your google sheets like we told you to um but if you go down here and you select the uh the correct one so google maps and you select let's say sheet one what you can do now is because you've ran the automation inside make you can see that the columns or rows inside this sheets are blank, right? So what we need to do is simply map them so it knows where to put the output in terms of their email, their website, everything like that. So for example, if we click on A, which is this column right here, what do we want the automation to put into here? Um, and honestly, once you've set this up, everything else is like a walk in the park. It is as simple as you just literally selecting what platform you want, what niche you want, and you can run this any day of time. Um, so for this, you can see that we have all of these outputs, including their phone number, their location, you know, their like, yeah, search page URL, go down to title. So Mac personal trainer, let's put his name in here. Um, for B, you can essentially put like, yeah, anything but his phone number and it will map it. And obviously this is like each one personalized. So it's insane. And maybe how many reviews they have. Um, obviously the date you want to scrape. Yeah. So all of this you can do in your own time. Um, yeah, just put all of this information in there and it should be good to go. So obviously you start at a much smaller one, so that's perfect. So now you have done one of the uh, yeah workflows, you are pretty much good to go because all we need to do now is just rinse and repeat this like as many times you want for different platforms. And we just need to change the actual Appify actor each time and obviously the Google Sheets. And assuming you do that, that's it. So for example, what we can do is we can just clone these ones like this. You can see this is the fun part. We can clone all of this so we can do it again. Let's clone it again. Boom, boom. But obviously we don't want each one for Google Maps. So that's why now instead of having Google Maps, what you can do is you can just do another one inside Appify. So for, for, for example, it could be maybe like a Facebook group scraper. So if we do this one, all we need to do is the exact same thing of just finding the Facebook group member scraper by curious, um, wherever his name is. So if we search for Facebook group scraper, and I believe it's by a guy called curious coder. So this one, once again, all we need to do is just put here, maybe the URL to scrape from. So if we just take this one and we want how many records you want to scrape, let's just say like seven, uh, wait duration, we can increase this and boom you're good to go so obviously now just grab the json file and yeah select that and just do the same thing remove this paste in the json file you can obviously change the um thing right here for the actual um 
yeah, search term. So if you click on search term, it will do that. Um, and let's just make sure that it didn't get that. So now that's perfect because this, for example, you would just replace with whatever Google, you know, so whatever Facebook group you want as a URL, and it will be able to scrape it. Just make sure that you do change the um, the Google Sheets right here for the one that you wanted to put the output into, but you should know how to map it, and it's pretty simple. You obviously connect to Google Sheets, so you know how to do that. You just need to select a new Google Sheets for this one, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, you're pretty much good to go. This can stay the same. Just make sure that it's the uh, correct data set ID. And it's as simple as that. So what you can do now is just do that for each different scraper you want. So let me remove this one to make it really simple because I, uh, I could spend maybe 10 more minutes and set up like all of the ones that I did in the, uh, in the original one right here to explain it very simply. If you're wondering, Charlie, how does this, if we want to scrape Google, and it's going to scrape this one compared to scraping this one. How do we get it to differentiate um, from the direction? So how you would do that is by setting up a filter. So if we click up setup filter, we can call this whatever we want. Let's just call this um, direction. And what we want is the search term to equal the actual platform we want or contains. Contains is okay is also okay. So if we put Google like that, that means that if we put Google right here it's going to match this filter and go up this direction compared to if we add a filter here, just call it, you know, the exact same thing of direction and the condition is going to be search term equals or contains the word, let's say Facebook. So Facebook, it's going to go in this direction. So just to test this, if we put Facebook right here and we run this automation, just click run anyway, you can see that it went down this route. Now to rinse and repeat this for each platform, but you should understand this, which is the set variable. You should understand how routers work for the directions. The filter is, you know, which direction you want it to go in to scrape which platform. Um, and you should understand more about Appify and how you just need to connect the, um, yeah, different actor for each direction that you want. And it is really that simple. Now, with that being said, I didn't want to yeah, build the entire automation because all I've done is just do the same thing, but for, you know, TikTok, Instagram. And once again, you can just search inside Appify if it does get too confusing for you. But if you want this automation completely built for you, so you can very easily just click on this button right here and import the blueprint, then feel free to join the community, which will be the first link in the description. And you get like this automation, as well as 15 other automations, you get free Go High Level software, you get access to me, you get access to an amazing community. So if you want the easy route, just join the community, it'll be the first thing from the description, and you actually get this automation built for you. So all you need to do is just connect like Appify um, in terms of the API key, and you're good to go. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, obviously subscribe, like, comment what videos you want next, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy and have an amazing day.